didn't know what I wanted to do. And within the course of moving around a lot, I really started to lose myself. I tried going from construction into hairstyling. It was definitely the hardest thing. Depression started coming in. Ich wünsche euch einen wundervollen Tag. Welcome to Krautsalat. I am Eric, an American living in Germany. Recently, I did a video talking about some reasons why I came to live in Germany. A girl. That is why I started coming here to Germany. I felt at home. Frozen pizza. You go buy a frozen pizza in the US and it tastes like the cardboard box that you just pulled it out of. And I had some questions. I was asked about making a video talking about my life previous, my life in the US, kind of leading up to why I wanted to move, why I wanted something different. And this was a very good question. One thing I want to do here with you at Kraut Salat, I want to be entertaining, I want this to be fun, but at the same time, I want you to really get to know the real me. So I don't mind getting a little bit personal. Some things I don't ever want to talk about, like politics, but you're not going to hear me talk about family. I will get personal. Please don't ask me any questions about family, but I would like to talk now a little bit and tell you a little bit more about myself before moving to Germany. What my life was like, what it was like for me. In my late teens, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I was quite indecisive. I started moving around a lot, some different universities, colleges, changing my course of study. Yeah, and I, I just kept moving around and changing my mind. I didn't know what I wanted to do. And within the course of moving around a lot, I really started to lose myself. I was trying to find myself, but because of that, I was losing myself. I didn't know it at the time. This was something that I, it took me another 15 or 20 years to learn. In the course of losing myself, now this is my early 20s, I was really struggling, mostly internally, to find myself. And then depression started coming in and this was overtaking my life in a way that I didn't even see it happening. Like obviously I felt it, but I didn't know. In my early twenties, I started singing. I was in a band, you know, the, the normal steps, you know, you start your first band, it's nothing serious. You, had your second band or your third one, then something starts becoming a little more serious. I really loved this. I loved singing. Once I started performing on stage, it was something I really enjoyed. But so many other factors, I kept, yeah, nothing was sticking. Early 20s, I was a bit dumb, stupid with myself, not understanding myself. Some time passed on. I had bands that things didn't work, lots of immaturity. I kept moving some more. I had lived in Wisconsin. I lived in Missouri for a little while. Then I ended up moving to Orlando, Florida. And here I really started having some trouble finding a band to join. Like I, I really, I wanted to keep singing. This was something I really loved. Nothing was working out for me. Like I, it was literally like I would contact a band that needed a singer. I would meet with them and then they disappear. This actually happened, I think this happened like five or six times. It was like the guys, I never saw them again. I never even got a chance to actually sing. Some of, a lot of these people never got to hear me sing. Like it didn't, I don't, I don't know. It was such a weird, I was living in central Florida, minutes away from legends like Chuck Schuldiner from death. You know, like I was in the heart of the Florida metal scene, but it, it wasn't clicking for me. As the time passes, I'm not finding a band to sing with. A lot of the, like that desire, it was burning inside, but it was a negative burn. The topic of depression, this can be very difficult, but yeah, like it, the fire that was burning inside of me started burning out. And 
I would go to concerts. I would stay silent to myself. I wouldn't make any friends, but I never stopped going to concerts. There were so many times, like this was my favorite thing. Live music is one of my favorite things. This is, it, this fuels me. But I would go to concerts and I would look at these guys on stage. I would love it, but I wanted it. Like I wanted to be back on stage again. It didn't push me to do something. It was the opposite. Like it, it was pushing me down into a hole. During these years, in an attempt to compensate because I wasn't doing for myself what I wanted, I tried other things. You know, a career change. I tried going from construction into hairstyling. Like that's pretty drastic, but it, it wasn't what I needed. I bought a Harley. I was a biker for five years, but that didn't, you know, I was trying so many other different things like adding elements into my life that nothing was sticking and it wasn't making me happy. Then this is going, this is still in the MySpace days. Thank the gods for social media. I started making some friends from Germany in 2011. I found myself coming to visit Hanover for the very first time. And this is really where my outlook, but also my inner look, I'm struggling for the exact words, but like looking in, you know, I, I started looking at myself more and started realizing some things. So now it was within this time, you know, seeing a different life in a different place. And some of that positive energy started coming up again. I was able to create a new vision. I started realizing the negativity that had built in my life. And I started seeing what I wanted to generalize, you know, that's, um, I could talk for three hours about the details, but, but that was it. Like I, I looked at the life that I hated. I looked at this new place that was making me happy. You're I was getting to know a lot of musicians. I've said it before, Germany has a very solid metal scene. There's a lot of life within the metal here. And it was a gut feeling that I just, I felt it and I had to go with it. This was such a massive decision. I, I left. I left a whole different life behind. Obviously there was, there was people that didn't want me to go. I had to, I gave up a lot. At the end of the day, if you are not happy inside, if you're not happy with yourself, if you're not happy with the person you see in the mirror, you really have to fix that, you know, make that person happy. Otherwise you can't make anyone else happy. For most of us, Hopefully for all of us, there's a lot of people that really depend on you and being the best person that you can be. Once I started feeling this and seeing that I could make a change for myself, I had to do it. It was definitely the hardest thing and not everyone can do it. Once I saw that vision, once I had that feeling, I had to go with it. You take a risk, you make that gamble, and hope it pays off in the end. And so far, so far for me, I'm, I'm very happy that I did it. For all I know, if I would have tried something different, I might be sitting in a nut house right now, a loony bin. Who knows? I, I don't know. But that was the direction that my life was going. Yeah, so that's a little bit of me in my background. I don't want that to be depressing, <laughs> although it, it's, it's a serious topic. I hope you don't mind getting to know me a little bit better. Fine by me! So I've got a lot of ideas. Krauts a lot is gonna be an awesome journey. We're gonna go places, do things. Right now we're stuck at home, but don't worry. We're gonna, we're gonna get out, see some of Germany, experience some things. We're gonna finish that epic studio. Don't worry, I didn't forget about that. I think I wanna do my own. You know, maybe um, some epic studio. So that is coming, we got big things planned. Thank you for joining me. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications. We got many more things coming. Stay tuned, all right? Fire, Abend.